the most powerful ways to make the investment on a book back in no time flat is to take the book you've created and turn it into a live workshop or an online training course or both. I've done this and coach folks through creating their own courses. So I've got my step-by-step -step approach for you. Stick around. Hey, I'm Julie the Book Broad, award-winning author and founder of this fantastic company that cares about authors and their success so much called Book Launchers. Seriously, caring more than other companies is our superpower. Now, before we dive in, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn the notifications on so we can hang out in the comments when a video comes out. There's also prizes for commenting the day a video is released so you can win some cool book launcher swag. It's what all the cool kids are talking about. Plus, it'll make us lifelong friends, right? April Braswell, Jay Washington, Giggle and Grin, Katie Zertinus, and Zorba Press. Commenting on videos makes us besties. All right, so you would otherwise pay big bucks to learn what I'm gonna teach you. So get out a pen and paper. I'm not kidding, get that pen and paper out. Number one, when you're thinking about turning your book into a course, what is the outcome of the course for the students? Obviously, for you, the outcome is you're gonna make money selling your experience and expertise. But what are your students gonna get? This is essentially the hook of your book. Remember that? Check out this video here if you need to. Really, this is the promise of your course. Let me give you a few examples. Pat Flynn has a course called Smart From Start, how to find a winning business idea and land your first customer. Another example, Kevin Hogan's professional speakers course, earn $100,000 as a paid professional speaker. One of my real estate investing training courses that I created with my husband was called Fund Your Deals in 49 Days, how to raise all the money you need for your real estate deals with no begging or cold calls required. You get the picture. So figure out your promise and what the real benefit is for your student. Number two, create a simple sales page for your course. Outline your promise and how you're gonna deliver on that promise. With the book done, guess what? Your course can follow along with the flow of your book. You're gonna cut some stories out, you're gonna add some resources, and you're gonna dig deeper into the step-by-step. -step. But essentially, you have a course outline. So lay out the eight to 10 modules that you have with key highlights from each section on this sales page. Oh, and by the way, I'm gonna have some resources down below on what makes a great sales page. Number three, now this is super important. Put the sales page out there into the world and offer it on pre-launch. Price it for 50% of what you plan to charge and get those credit cards. Get that money! <laughs> You'll need some email copy and ways to promote it, whether you're promoting it to your email list or your social media, or you get a colleague with a list and get them to promote it and give them 100% of the sales if they promote it to their list. Do whatever you can to get it in front of a handful, well, not a handful, like hundreds of people to see if they're gonna pull their credit card out. This is not about making money at this stage. This is about not wasting time and effort to create a course that nobody's gonna pay for. I've done it and it sucks so I'm trying to save you from doing it. If you're not hitting five to 10 pre-sales and you've reached a thousand people with this at least, don't build your course. Go back, tweak the copy, try and revisit the promise. Maybe try and change up how you're delivering it or how it's offered and try again. And if it's still not working, build the course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have some resources below because there's a lot of pieces to creating sales pages and email lists that we just don't have time to get into in a single video. But I'm gonna have some stuff below to help you out. Number four, assuming you have a minimum level of pre-sales to warrant moving forward. Awesome, now it's time to give your pre-sale people something of value to chew on in the meantime. A video that's like a pre-step. For example, if I was gonna get you started on writing a book before we were ready to coach you, I would have you go and read the five best-selling books in your industry or niche. And really, you should be doing that. So it's not make work, it's something of high value you can get them started on while you go and build the course. Number five, get to work and build that course. I recommend using the Thinkific platform. I have a special offer for you in the link below if you're interested in working with them to help build out your course. But basically, you wanna take the content from the outline and now create videos, worksheets, maybe some resource manuals, checklists. <laughs> I'm a fan of the workbook video combination, but it depends on your space, who your course is for, and how you wanna see it delivered. But you gotta go build it now. Number six, prepare for your official launch. Maybe it's happening three to six months after your book comes out. You can let your book buyers know and book supporters know it's coming. If they loved your book, they'll love this program. Have you built a course from your book? Tell us about it below. Link to that sales page too. Let's check it out and support each other. And while you're on the way to the comment, please smash that thumbs up button like it's a no whammy button. <laughs> <laughs> and you may also enjoy these other fantastic videos on how to make a return on your investment in a book and 
and all the other benefits of writing a book besides money, because there's a lot of those too. 